Actor and Six Tones rapper Yuri Tanaka discusses ambition, fate, and concentrating on the music in ACMA game. Today, we present an exclusive interview with Yuri Tanaka in honor of his 29th birthday. In it, he shares his opinions on his current drama and explains that he would much rather prove his worth than boast about having huge aspirations. Like his ACMA game, Prime, character, Yuri Tanaka, a rapper, singer, and dancer with the rock pop group Six Tones, pronounced Stones, is a quietly ambitious person. He talks to us exclusively about his love of manga, how he learned to act on a green screen, and his unwavering commitment to keeping becoming better. Tanaka affirms, we share the similar characteristic of a quietly ambitious person, referring to UI Saito of ACMA game. Actually, it's all of us, not just me. People who've just watched us perform live or on YouTube might not know that we're actually kind of laid back. We want to demonstrate our lofty goals and aspirations with calm, deliberate deeds and tangible outcomes rather than just talking about them. Aspiring and prepared for development, Tanaka was able to pick up tips from experienced performers Shotaro Mamiya, Cinderella's of Midsummer, Pending Train, and Koton Furukawa, Yu Yu Hakusho, Pending Train, who co-starred with him in the fantasy drama ACMA game this season. My biggest takeaway from ACMA game was how to perform with CGI. We had to fumble through several scenarios, relying on our imagination. Before adding special effects, Mamiya-san and Furukawa-san both assisted me in developing a feeling of creative spontaneity to bring the story to life. I have to have faith in my own feelings and intuition. After gaining so much knowledge and the opportunity to hone her acting abilities even more, what would Tanaka like to do next? In his prior roles, he portrayed intelligent, rational, and self-assured individuals, much like UI Saito. Spicing things up and stepping into a part that lets me portray a more humorous or naughty character would be nice. It would release some of the pent-up energy possessed by the actor in me, he continues, grinning. As I consider his stored-up energy, I consider his favorite classics and the roles he would like to play in the future, adding his own perspective on top. A few days prior to receiving the offer, I had just completed reading ACMA's game. That was the most important thing on my mind at the time, so I almost tripped over to say yes. Tanaka goes on to ponder someday, saying, I'd like to do everything to obtain a broad perspective because I still don't have a lot of acting experience, relatively speaking. In this manner, I can later on be more specific about what I, and my admirers, would find enjoyable. Tanaka was a two-for-one deal. In addition to joining ACMA game, Six Tones also contributed a song that is instantly recognizable since it has an influence on every episode. Gong, an insert music for ACMA game, is obviously intended to heighten the tension, but it also embodies Six Tones' aggressive, rebellious spirit. First Directive Six Tones aren't your normal J-pop group if you're not already one of the throngs of worldwide fans. They have a mature mindset and a more Western, rock-based image. They put the music first and are really invested in it. Tanaka gives some background information about the group and their shared goals. All six of us enjoy staying occupied. Our favorite thing to do is perform as a group, but we also act in plays, model for magazines, and have a good time on variety and chat shows. I would say that's our main directive. We work really hard to create songs that are memorable and to make great music. As Six Tones, we may rely on fate when we depart tomorrow. Instead, we aim to use our efforts to make fans happy and excited. We just want to do something every day, no matter how large or small, in the hopes that it would inspire others to perform at their highest level the next day or deal with the stress of the grind. Setting I in Motion this thought of deferring fate till tomorrow intrigues me, especially because Six Tones is renowned for forging its own path by opting to align as a six-piece group rather than being allocated as young pop artists generally start off. In stark contrast to my quietly ambitious acting character, we all share aggressive group goals and a desire to attempt new things. 
in particular with regard to music. We're constantly considering ways to improve a song or elevate a live performance, even if it's just slightly. We want to be proud of the job we do and make sure our fans are proud to support us whether we release music or go on tour. How can we ever hope to confidently stand in front of an audience and ask them to support us if we don't take it seriously and give it our all attention and consideration? More than anything, I believe this to be a component of the mentality we have fostered since our foundation, if not before. Tanaka's claim to be the group's spokesperson surprises me a little bit, even in light of such a strong declaration. In a one-on-one -on -one setting, he strikes me as thoughtful, professional, and maybe a little restrained. Quietly ambitious comes to mind. For instance, Six Tones is everything but shy when you see them perform. Instead, they are vivacious and full of energy. Offstage, Tanaka claims, they're really laid back. Many talents. He describes his position among the six. I like to think I play a variety of roles within the group. I'm in control of the rap portions musically. We usually get to talk to the fans during live performances, so I make an effort to keep everyone on topic. In the background, I also take on the role of producer for our concepts, fostering relationships between the team and the group. We are all multi-talented idea men. Without one of us, six tones wouldn't be six tones. I believe that every one of us has a unique set of surprising and significant roles that are not always apparent from the outside. After making his debut in 2020, a strange year for anyone in the entertainment business, we discuss his positive experiences over the past several years, one of which he finds particularly memorable. We've always done yearly live tours, which is something that instantly comes to mind, but I don't think it's possible to distill our experiences into a single recollection. Our concerts are where we put forth the most effort and have the greatest sense of accomplishment above all else. On an individual basis, it would have to be the rap series I did for 34 local radio stations, writing lyrics to characterize each one. Although the schedule was tight, I seem to remember not sleeping much at all during that period. It was well worth it. After all, it was our first year and a fantastic opportunity for me to get better. It was a chance to establish a reputation for having a certain skill set that would lead people to conclude that Yuri was the best when it came to rap parts. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Tanaka, nevertheless, is not just into rap. He also released a solo song that he wrote all by himself with a particular concept in mind. I can't quite understand the why. But we talk about the how of the ballad sorry. I wanted sorry to have a meaningful story where the same line is repeated, but depending on where it falls in the song, it has a different meaning. When I work on music with others, we usually work through the entire piece in a workshop setting, exploring different ideas and topics. But because I understood what I wanted to say, we finished this one in a little over 30 minutes. I'm thrilled with the outcome and the good response I've received. I can't resist asking one last question because our conversation has focused so much on intention and direction. To be honest, I assumed this would be a simple task, bracing for venues such as Wembley, Madison Square Garden, or even Sony Hall, where my management partner Travis Japan will be performing this fall. However, I should have known that anything I asked Tanaka will require some serious consideration and reflection. That is an extremely challenging question. In order to meet new people and spread the word about Six Tones, I would adore performing at numerous events all around the world. But if I had to choose a dream location, I suppose Sphere in Las Vegas would be it. I had watched video of the U2 show, and we discussed how amazing it would be to play a live show there. However, we constantly bug our staff to look into potential concert locations by saying things like, wouldn't it be fun to do a show at such and such a place? To put it briefly, we hope to perform for a diverse range of audiences in a variety of settings across the globe. It will be more than just a hope, I believe, maybe it will be a birthday wish. After giving it some thought for even a short while, I'm prepared to wager that more concepts have already been subtly and audaciously added to the Six Tones table. 
We hope to see you and the rest of the group at a worldwide location soon. Greetings on your 29th birthday, dear Tanaka-san. Comment with Yuri Tanaka's birthday in the space provided below and view the complete Q&A here. Click here to follow Six Tones on social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and X. View the music video for the drama song Gong by Six Tones and learn more about ACMA's game. Watch ACMA's game, the live-action manga drama, on Prime Video.